the release of Gigi Reyes after eight and a half years based not on bail for a non-bailable offense, but because the Supreme Court granted the writ, her petition for a writ of habeas corpus. Can you, being a former Justice Secretary, comment on this? Because it, it triggered all these memes about Sana all. We yes. have, we it, have thousands know, I mean, of people languishing. It, this is proof yes. that it appears, and I'm convinced, that our justice system is broken. Mm. You know, lawyers like me, uh, we learn in law school that the writ of habeas corpus is available only where there is a question on the legality or validity of your detention or if you cannot be found. You know, what does it literally say? Uh, uh, produce the body yeah. of uh, the person. That's why this writ, mm. writ of habeas corpus. Produce the body of the person and explain to me why you are detaining uh, that person. In the case of, uh, of, of people under the custody of the courts, uh, as when you're mm. accused, as in the case of Gigi Reyes, there is no question about the validity of, mm. their, of their detention. However, the Supreme Court had to resort and grant this writ because of the uh, uh, violation of the right to speedy trial, yes. which is so basic. Can you imagine if I am to be, I haven't seen the decision, but the newspaper said, you know, nine, nearly nine years of detention, they have not even started the submission yes. of uh, uh. evidence. They're still marking the documents. My goodness gracious. So uh, that is why the, the decision of the, of the Supreme Court received the uh, uh, public support because of this single factor. Yeah. Now, uh, of course, uh, the case of Laila de Lima uh, 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 comes into force, and we are hopeful that the same principle will be applied to Laila de Lima mm. uh, because uh, uh, they have been detained. Laila has been detained for over six years or mm. six years, and up to now, you know, uh, a number of witnesses have already recanted. She is still suffering uh, detention. And uh, therefore, this same principle should apply to him. If this Gigi Reyes doctrine gets applied to other cases, including Leila uh, de Lima, if we see Rappler cases starting to get dismissed, if we take it from President Marcos' word that I don't see this heading in the direction of Maria Reza getting sent to prison, which is actually something he said in, in Davos, and then beyond the courts and beyond decisions, if you have a former head of the presidential security group prosecuted for murder, right? And if you have the former chief of the Bureau of Corrections properly prosecuted as well for oh, the God. assassination of a journalist, will you take all of that as some indicator, not only of progress in the justice system, but actually something, going back to our topic, that you would credit the executive for, that you would credit President Marcos for? Well, uh, certainly uh, he has something to do with it. Just uh, st staying back and allowing the system to move as it should uh, is already uh, helped to reform our justice system. Um, uh, you know, uh, we keep on hearing about the influence done by powerful persons on the, uh, on the cases pending in the judiciary, which is wrong. Um, you know, we have all kinds of uh, theoretical uh, uh, um, principles that should, uh, uh, that should project a, a functioning justice system, but it's the people who man the system at the end of the day, mm. and that uh, which will make a success or a failure. And the, the, the president is an important cog in this process. So, mm. Uh, a lot will depend on, on the presidency also insofar as reforming the justice system is concerned. For one, uh, he has supervision over the, the investigative arm and the, the police. He has jurisdiction over the prosecutors. He has jurisdiction over the, 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 the penal system. So a lot will depend also yeah. on the action of the executive uh, branch.